خانه در موسم و خانه کن خانه و خانه نور لوح خانه دشت مهاره را که سهره دار سهره بشه بشه آشندیم مدیم سهره را حضر مخلوقات پیدا کجی دهی لگو سره انسان بلو هایی را انسان کرده داره دی سهره دار سهره دار جنور را دوگی گوده جنور را گیبه سهره گیبه دای سهره بای کلو تو مره که تو هره لبه نبوره دنه دنه گره They are branded as one of the most persecuted communities in the world by the UN. Yet nobody knows their name. They are the forgotten people. The Rohingya have been subject to state-sponsored ethnic cleansing by the Burmese government. Despite their existence in Burma, dating as far back as the 8th century, Rohingyas are denied citizenship and condemned as illegal immigrants. Targeted as a result of their religion and race, the Rohingya suffer oppressive levels of discrimination in the face of the Rakhine Buddhist majority. Land confiscation, forced labor, and denial of very basic human rights are characteristics of everyday reality for the Rohingya people. In recent weeks, the escalating violence has displaced more than 90,000 Rohingya people. Villages are being burnt, people are being abducted, concentration camps are being created, women are being raped, and children mercilessly killed. Survivors are desperately trying to escape persecution and seeking refuge in neighboring countries like Bangladesh, but have been rejected by border guards. The Bangladeshi government has even recently barred aid groups from helping refugees fleeing the violence. Prime Minister, you know full well that they are being persecuted in their own country. They tried to run away and they refused entry to your country. Well, why we should allow to enter our country? Boats of starving, injured and dying men, women and children are being turned away, forced to make a choice either return to death in Burma or wait for death on open sea. Due to the neglect from the media and governments alike, the majority of people are unaware of this dire situation. My sisters, brothers and other relatives were burnt alive. They burnt my own children. We couldn't bear it anymore, so we came to Bangladesh. The Coast Guard turned us back three times and we floated at sea for four days and four nights and then we managed to sneak in. Three of our children were burned to death in Burma. Another two died in the boat getting here. The persecution against the Rohingya can be described in no other terms but that of ethnic cleansing and genocide. We need to pressure our leaders to act now. They need to know the world is not going to sit by while the suffering continues. The Rohingya people need our help. Find out what you can do at wearehelp.org.